there's a number of, of professional characteristics a speaker should have. Uh, the first one, it's incumbent on any speaker that they learn about the organisation that they're going to speak to, that they do their research. That's a basic professional obligation as any speaker, that you're passing on relevant messages, tailoring your speech for the organisation you're chatting to. I think an obvious thing for any speaker is that you captivate the room, you hold the room, you engage the people you're speaking to. I'm very lucky in that my travels around the world, I've been accompanied by world-class cameramen and top photographers. So it's wonderful for me to be able to do these talks and share these images and this footage just to illustrate some of the points I'm making about the teams that I've worked with. My personal experiences have been mainly based around operating with teams in extreme environments. And that runs right from working as a, as a Royal Marines officer, from working on the peace process with Nelson Mandela, working with wildlife film crews, leading expeditions, but also working with companies as well and blue chip organizations. It's a corporate talk in terms of what value can we take from the observations of looking at teams and people in these environments. So at one end, you've got your pure adventure at the start of the talk, right the way through to really analysing the behaviour of, of people and teams and, and the leadership messages we can learn from watching those teams under stress. My biggest passion in life, I think, is communicating my kind of excitement and interest in the extraordinary environments that I've been to, but the extraordinary behaviour of the people that I've led always find it endlessly interesting and endlessly surprising.